Good morning. It's Thursday, the 2nd of April. I wonder if any of you have been outside at night to look for the International Space Station. At the moment, it's passing overhead each night, and on a clear night, it can be seen as it moves across the night sky. Sarah and I stood and watched one night, and it's a strange feeling to imagine that there are people on board, 200 miles away, flying through space and looking down at Earth. Their views must be amazing. I believe the view from a spacecraft is called the overview effect, being able to see the whole planet at once. Some would call it a God's eye view. The pictures on the space station website are incredible. It must be very strange for the astronauts, as they're aware of all that the Earth is facing at the moment, and they're removed from it in their own isolation. Of course, they know what it's like to live in lockdown. They live in a restricted space for long periods of time. One astronaut, Anne McLean, spent six months on the International Space Station and has shared some of her experience as a way of trying to encourage others during this time of coronavirus and the restrictions that we're facing. She says this. Stress happens when expectations aren't in line with reality. When we can't change reality, it's best to focus on our expectations. In other words, she's saying we can't change the situation, but we can change our reaction to it. She then goes on to say, expect to do things differently. Expect to need to adapt. Expect to be out of your comfort zone. Expect to put others first. None of us are finding this easy. But I suppose one step on the journey of coping is to accept where we are and that we can't change it. Then to recognise that because of where we are, we're going to have to change our way of doing things. We can all expect to do things differently, to communicate in different ways, for our days to have a different pattern. We can all expect to adapt to a different pace of life to physical restrictions, to increased emotions. We can all expect to be outside of our comfort zone, feeling anxious, dealing with a reality that no one has ever experienced before. We can, however, still expect to put others first, to be concerned about families, friends and neighbours, to show compassion to those in need around the world, and to let our love for others be a priority. There's one more thing that I want to add to that helpful wisdom that came from Anne McLean. Another expectation. We can expect that our loving God will not let us down. We can expect that Jesus, who has also walked paths that were uncomfortable and solitary, will walk with us now. We can expect that God's Spirit will guide and strengthen us each and every day. Let us pray. Loving God, when nothing is the same, help us to learn to do things differently. When life is upside down, help us to adapt to a new way of being. When we are out of our comfort zone, calm our fears and reassure our anxious minds. When we are aware of others in need, help us to reach out to them with your love. Thank you that when all around us is changing, we can still expect to rely on you, our unchanging God. Amen.